If I had to bet, I bet you J-Lo makes some type of reference to her friend Kobe Bryant during her halftime performance at the Super Bowl. Jen Lommers and Rachel Lindsay are in Miami at the Intercontinental with more on J-Lo's hotly anticipated show. Yeah, Billy, J-Lo just gave fans a quick glimpse inside rehearsals. And I talked to some former NFL players who were counting down the days until the pop superstar hits the stage. All new photos, J-Lo knee deep in rehearsals, and know who's really excited for the halftime show? The Gronk. We got J-Lo and uh, Shakira, yeah. and uh, they're both tremendous, tremendous performers. I love watching them both. J-Lo's such a beast. She's what, 50 years old? She's got it, she, she, she's got it down. Aging in reverse, and that's what I love to see. And Shakira, just, you know, hips don't lie. I'm super excited to see both of them out there. They're gonna absolutely destroy it. So is the Fox Sports team, although Terry Bradshaw may need a halftime show playbook. J-Lo, Lil' Shakira, uh, hips don't lie. I don't know anything about their music. I'm 71 years old. I mean, I like country music, gospel music. I love the opera. And Jimmy Johnson? I'm more into the game. <laughs> loves the Super Bowl being in Miami. I love fishing. I love scuba diving. We go lobstering. We, we catch a lot of fish. I live in Florida Keys, so obviously I'm a boat guy. But what about the future of this guy? What do you think Tom Brady should do now that he's a free agent? I don't think he's going to do anything. I think he'll stay right there. That would be one of the saddest moments in the NFL to have its greatest quarterback ever to not finish it up in New England. Troy Aikman, who spent his entire career with the Cowboys, has this to say. I do believe that when he gets out of the game, if he had only played in New England, I think that he'll look back and be very proud of that. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.